Hi guys, today the news about Star Atlas are about characters or avatars, Scream Star bases, rewards and resources. I'm KeplerNet and this is Nebular TV Express News. So, Star Atlas team has confirmed that they are working on avatar breathing. Also, their plan is that you can pin any of your crew members as your default avatar and you can change it whenever you want. It will feel like we are creating our main character because when we create it, it will be automatically pinned as default, but we can change that later. Anyway, the team is anticipating that we become quite fond of that first avatar. Sami Banks will have benefits for any faction. It doesn't matter if you are mod or not. Valuable resources will be scattered in different star systems in the medium risk zone. It doesn't matter if it's closer or not to the high risk zone. And when traveling between different star systems in Scrim, we will have to click our way through each warp gate individually, manually. And these journeys will take a reasonable amount of time. And they have said that it would be less than 24 hours. Next, you can only mine at planets that are within your faction's territory, which is occupied by creating or building star bases. So the process would be like we defeat the enemy and then we rebuild the star base, uh, depositing materials uh, collectively as a, as a faction. Regarding Scream, when you bring in a new ship, it will always start in the safe zone. When you want to sell uh, resources in Scream, you first need to move them to the central space station to withdraw them and then you can place them on the market. And the central space station is the one that is in the safe zone. The Star Atlas team has said that they want to add localized markets at different star bases as an upgrade in the future so that we can uh, trade in a peer-to-peer -peer way uh, different things. But they also said that the restriction about the need to take the, the resources first to the central space station in order to be able to place an offer in the market is an intentional restriction so that we need to, to have logistics and freighting in, in game. When we collect materials to build or upgrade a starbase, we can deposit those materials in any starbase, not only the central space station. Then the faction works together to build or rebuild the starbase. That means that individuals and guilds cannot own starbases in version zero of Scrim. Starbases with higher tiers provide more recipes for crafting, but R4 being so necessary for the game, we can expect that to be unlocked in early starbases tiers. Different players can mine a planet at the same time, but there would be an upper limit for emissions, for resource emissions, uh, which will be determined by economic modeling. The amount of Atlas emissions will be split across the three factions, regardless of the player or ship count. About resources, a faction doesn't share resources. A faction shares the progress on star basis upgrades, and th that means that the resources are yours and are tied to only you at different star bases. Loyalty points are the incentive for people to contribute their resources to star bases. The more resources you contribute to the star base, the more loyalty points you earn. And that is not a declining curve. We will be able to buy resources from the market using Atlas to contribute to a star base, but we will have to craft the upgrade product because the uh, 20 resources are raw resources and we also have to uh, transport the, the materials from the central space station to the starbase that needs it. And also important is that Star Atlas will not be selling those 20 materials. It will be all peer-to-peer -peer market. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more news and information.